Hey there, web developers, QA and test pros. Ever wonder if your website is truly accessible to everyone? What if I told you you could automate accessibility testing without changing a single line of your existing test code? Today, we'll be diving into BrowserStack's awesome accessibility automation tool and how it was developed to help you ensure web inclusivity. Stick around and discover how you can effortlessly catch accessibility issues, save time, and potentially avoid costly lawsuits, all while making the web a better place for everyone. First, some staggering stats. Do you know that the homepage of the top 1 million websites have over 51 million distinct accessibility errors? Is your website one of them? In this day and age, accessibility is non-negotiable, whether for the web or otherwise. Every year, companies face lawsuits due to non-compliance with WCAG guidelines. Web accessibility lawsuits have been rising, making it crucial for businesses of all sizes to prioritize the accessibility of the digital products. And these lawsuits don't just result in monetary losses, but also can damage brand value. In 2020 alone, differing accessibility requirements cost companies in EU member states $20 billion, according to the EU Commission. And under the EU Accessibility Act, enforceable by 2025, EU member states will have common accessibility rules, making it easier for private companies to sell compliant products and services across the EU, thereby increasing selection for customers. Also, approximately 16% of the world's population has some form of disabilities and require assistance to access online information effectively. And by catering to these audiences, businesses can increase their reach and potentially improve their revenue. So ensuring accessibility is not just about compliance, it's also about creating an exclusive environment for all users. Making accessibility a priority, you'll see the benefits in your business growth and customer loyalty, and you'll feel better as a tester. But how do you do it? Well, let's see how BrowserStack can help you achieve all this. Demo time. Let's check it out. All right, for the demo, let's head on over to the code editor where I already installed the browser stack SDK. And this is the generated config file browser stack YAML file. If you scroll down, you could see that I've already set the accessibility flag to true. Now, before I go ahead and actually kick off the build, let's quickly see the test cases that we'll be running as part of this build. So this particular file has two test cases. And these test cases are ran against my testskill.com website. And we're gonna run them against two platforms, both Windows and Mac. All right, one cool thing to know is that there are no import statements or any sort of code changes that you have to make to embed accessibility testing. The only change that needs to be made is to install the SDK and set the accessibility flag to true. Easy peasy. Okay, let's go ahead and start the build now. All right, so this is gonna spin up remote browsers on the Automate platform. So let's head on over and switch to the Automate dashboard. All right, so you can see here, we have the build that we just ran, and you can see that the two test cases have started running. So let's wait for all the four test cases to complete. One thing to keep in mind here is that the status you see here is for the functional status of the test case and not the accessibility status, just something to be aware of. The accessibility status for a particular test case is actually found on the accessibility dashboard that we'll be looking at next. All right, cool. Three out of the four test cases I've already passed. And as soon as the fourth one is done, we're gonna go head on over and actually have a look at the accessibility report for this particular build. Awesome. All four test cases have passed, so I can now go to the accessibility dashboard. And in the accessibility dashboard, we have the automated test section. So here, I'll quickly refresh the page once. All right, here's the build we just ran. So let's go ahead and open this build report. Now in the overview section of this build report, you can see an issue breakdown based on severity. So you can see the issue trend graph and the severity breakdown for the past build runs. So let's scroll down a little more. All right, you can see now the accessibility health summary for all four of our test case results. So here is the health history and the issue breakdown by components, by category, and by pages. Now let's go to the test section. 
So you can see similar reports for each of the test cases that we ran as part of this build. And if you click on any of these test cases, you can deep dive into the issues found for each of these particular test cases. And you'll have a similar view to what you just saw for the overall build report. And you can visualize the issues found for that particular test case as well. So one thing to be aware of here is if you were to take the summary of each of these test cases of all the issues and add them up, it comes out to be around 684. It's gonna be a lot more than what we see here in the overall section for the total reported number of issues. In this case, only 252, which is much less than we saw with the test summary section. And the reason for this is that if we have duplicate issues found across multiple test cases, Browser Stack is smart enough to only give you the unique list of issues which are available under the All Issues section. So this is a big time saver because you don't have to track down duplicate issues. It does it for you automatically. So if you click on the issue type and select an affected component, you could see all the issue related details for that. And on the right, you can also see the affected WCAG tag success criteria, the affected page, the element details, and more importantly, how to fix guide. The source test section also allows you to trace back in which particular test case the accessibility issue was found. Awesome. So this wraps up everything for the demo. And there you have it, folks. Browser Stack's accessibility automation tool isn't just another testing feature. It is what I think your secret weapon for creating truly inclusive websites and elevating your testing to the next level. Remember, accessibility isn't just about compliance. It's about opening your digital doors to everyone. And by integrating this tool into your workflow, you're not only streamlining your testing process, but also championing digital equality. Ready to take your accessibility testing to the next level? Head on over to testguild.me forward slash browser stack to start your journey towards a more accessible web. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more tech insights, and drop a comment about how you plan to use this tool in your next project. Until next time, keep coding, keep testing, and keep making the web accessible for all. Cheers.